The next thing I'm going to show you is gates. Now, gates basically apply like almost like a cutoff point where if the sound goes below a certain threshold, it's going to cut the sound off completely. Now, this is very good for if you're recording in a place that has maybe a lot of background noise, you can cut off the sound automatically, all the unwanted stuff. So what you're going to do is you can go into your channel strip and look at dynamics and look for a noise gate. This noise gate is going to help you eliminate dirty noise. What we can do is it also can add an effect to what you're playing. So we're going to look at it and try maybe add some type of effect. When doing this, your gate is always going to help your sound, but what you want to do is you want to try to add your gate at the very beginning of your chain, because this is going to help you maybe change everything before. If you add it after a delay or a reverb, this is definitely going to affect things you don't want. So you always want to maybe start with your EQ, then your gate, and then your compression to multipressor to delays.